And local on this Tuesday morning, our rapidly changing weather has led to dangerous ice conditions this we uh, winter. That's right, and several local agencies use airboats to make those rescues. But did you know that those airboats are manufactured right here in Wisconsin? Local 5's Aaron Taylor takes us along for a ride on a Thousand Island airboat. When an ice fishing trip takes a dangerous turn. We have used it three times this year to go out and rescue ice fishermen. These airboats didn't have to travel far to make it to the bay. For the past year and a half, they've been manufactured right here in Wisconsin. It was originated in Canada. We heard about these boats, how what a great product they were. And so we bought the company and moved it here to Wisconsin. Moving a Canadian company to the States has its challenges. Basically bring the process back to the United States and that didn't only include building the boats, it also included getting the products that go into the boats resourced from the United States. Getting the right parts for the process to create the fiberglass bottom boats that glide on water or ice, an essential feature for ice rescues. Ice gets thinner the closer you get to the open water. So if you're going to try and use a uh, regular boat that can only travel in the water, you have to get close to the ice and you risk the people trying to get into the boat then going into the water. It's nice to know that it has a purpose other than pleasure. You know, it's, it's, it's basically a water and ice ambulance. You know, so it gets out there where other people can't. Going where other people can't, like a partially frozen river where I got a quick lesson in driving airboats. We had fun on the water and ice, but these boats have a higher purpose. Without a tool like this, it'd be very difficult for us to go out and rescue these people uh, that are stranded. That's what we bought the company for, brought it in, and this vehicle is needed in areas like this. Areas where fun on the water doesn't end when ice takes over for the winter. In Iola and on the Fox River. Good job. Aaron Taylor, Local 5 News.